I was so mad at the world for my eating disorder. You know what I mean? Out of all the places I've tried to film, my bed actually ended up working out. So that's great. Um, I became very aware of my body when I was eight. I think my mom ingrained it to me that I had to be skinny to be pretty basically. My mom always made comments about how girls that were skinnier were prettier and she did not like hide that from me. Uh, this one time she was doing my hair and my cousin's hair so she does mine she doesn't say anything she finishes my cousin's hair and she's like wow your braids look so pretty or so much prettier because your face is so thin and it's so skinny whatever and I was like I looked at myself and I was like wait why didn't she tell me I look pretty and then I was like oh well yeah my face is rounder I look different so like that's when I was like okay I look different the first time that I like it really really hit me that I was like bigger it was whenever I was I think in sixth grade so it was Halloween time and I was the girl that was like at Party City like the day after it opened for Halloween right so I'm there with my mom I'm excited to pick out a costume and I'm grabbing stuff and she's like no that doesn't fit your body type and I was like my body type what do you mean um, I would grab something and she'd be like no that's too small for you like you need the large one and I was like okay so anyway she just kept like making like comments about size and body basically the whole time we were there but I mean it did make me uncomfortable but I tried to not make her uncomfortable and like like show her that it made me sad so I just like ignored it whatever so we get home and I bought like this little pirate dress and I'm wearing it and my mom she's like she just stops and like is just tells me like I'm disgusted like I've never had calves that big and I was like what and I tried to like laugh it off again to not make her sad that she really hurt my feelings and after that like I took it off and I was like ew I mean yeah like my mom is like small calves like she's a skinny person like how am I a little sixth grader fatter than my mom you know anyway so yeah the internet came about and tumblr's a thing i'm on it and i am like seeing these like really stupid diets and like this finspo and all these eating rules and i'm like okay like if i can look like if those girls look at these because they eat this way like i'm going to be one of those girls so i would like try to start doing these diets obviously they're literally starvation diets and we're going through like through sixth grade and like middle school you're going through this huge like de developmental stage um and you need a lot of food honestly <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so I start try I tried to start doing these diets and obviously it's like starvation. So I would do them for like maybe a day, maybe two and then eat normal the next day. So yeah, I never really saw any change. If anything, maybe I got chubbier <laughs> because I'd be like, okay, like I'm eating two Nutella sandwiches and this one's not because now I start my diet. Like it was terrible. So anyways, obviously my body didn't change at all. <laughs> And then high school comes around and there's this like these seniors that are like fully developed and I'm still not like I don't look hot like them I'm not skinny like them like you know like it was just like this big shock of like I need to look like them I need to look like people even people my age like these girls were like skinny and like tall and just like I was definitely not like that so I decided to join cross country and as a honestly like as a punishment for myself like I'm gonna literally make myself run like even if i don't want to run there's someone telling me that i have to run so that's how i'm gonna run i think that frustration led me to like you know what like i'm just gonna work out and like not eat at all like no like i was overeating because i was trying to outwork a bad diet without realizing that all it took was literally eat to feed to nourish your body like no i didn't think of any of this i was like no either i starve or nothing worked out and there's something legitimately wrong with my body so 10th grade comes around and I just started bringing my own lunch and it was like salads and stuff like that and this one time this girl this like skinny girl comes up to me and she's like oh I should be on a diet too you inspired me and I was like what if this girl is saying she needs to be on a diet then what do I need to be on like that just made me like super self-conscious of again my body and I was my eating habits and so then I stopped going to lunch and I would just go to literally the restroom and I would eat there. I would just hide there. I would go to the locker room. I would go to the library, whatever. For like three years, I didn't eat in high school, like with other people because it made me super anxious. I think until senior years, whenever I started like eating with like friends again. Anyway, so 
that time that I was literally starving myself, I did lose a lot of weight really fast and that just like completely like fueled this like, wow, this really works. Like I just had to actually starve myself. And then you start getting compliments and you're like, oh my gosh, like this is great. So this one time I had just like gotten out of the shower and my mom's like, hey, come here. And I was like, oh, okay. So I go up to my mom and she's like lifts my shirt up and she's like, you look sick. Like you look disgusting. I can see your bones. Like what's wrong with you? Eat. And I was like, what? Like, isn't this what you wanted? Didn't you want a skinny daughter? Like what the hell? So, um, yeah, that I think made me confused because I was like, dude, like, and I thought this is how my mom wanted me to look like this whole time. And it made me like sad because I was like, oh my gosh, what if I can't lose any more weight? Like, what if my mom doesn't take me to the gym? Because by this time I had already been like, I would get anxiety attacks if my mom wasn't able to like take me to the gym. Like I was, it was really bad. Um, I remember for Thanksgiving, I was like taking my own food, like literally like a can of tuna and like some veggies or something. And my mom was like, no, seriously, like stop. Like you look ridiculous. Like just eat there. So I was like, okay, whatever. Super anxious. And I ended up eating like a piece of turkey that like had no fat. And like, I think I picked out like the nuts in the salad. So it was just veggies. The next day I was in Sumba because I was like taking it easy that day because I was so tired. And then I just like lost my vision. Like it was terrible. But oddly enough, I was like, wow, like I got sick enough. So like, I know I can see this. Like that was literally my thought process. And that's how, like that just goes to show like, what, how would you say like fainting equals health or fainting equals success? No, I was really messed. Another really big event during this whole deal uh, was that my dad asked me to buy something for him online. So I was like, yeah, sure. So I'm pulling out his phone and I see the last tab said like, how to help someone with anorexia. And that really hurt my feelings because like me and my dad have always been like super close. So I was like, wow, I can't believe that like my dad has noticed this. Like I can't believe my dad is sad over this. Like it just like really, really broke my heart. So I was like, like honestly, I was like, okay, no, I'm going to try to eat normal and like hopefully I like don't gain weight, whatever. Just so like I am not hurting my parents with like, you know the way that I was acting so yeah um I tried it I tried to start eating normal but here's the thing or here's the thing that happened with me after like not eating for so long I did not know how to eat normal like I way over ate um or I felt like I over ate and the next day I was like no that was crazy like I am just not gonna eat today like I'm going to just drink water and tea or you know, just stuff like that so I would do that for maybe a day or two and the next three I would eat a lot like it was just super off balance and that made me gain weight super, super fast. And um, it, it, I was just like, what the heck? Like now I'm literally even heavier than what I started. And it just like completely like hurt my confidence. Then over the next few years in high school, my body was just like a topic that was off limits to talk about because I would gain weight and then lose it once a year. like literally once a year it was a strange dynamic because I would like eat restrict eat restrict till I got so tired of like not getting results so then I would just starve and obviously I would lose weight but it's only so long that you can starve and then I would try to eat normal whatever I didn't know how to eat normal and it was just the same cycle happening again and again and again and again and it's so hard to get out of like seriously so hard but that's how my my life was for a few years like I was in this cycle that made me like lose out on so much. Like I didn't go to high school dances. I didn't go to football games, like all of high school. I feel like I missed out on being a teenager on like going to the movies with your friends and just eating candy or like going out with your family to eat. Like I just missed out on it seriously. Cause I, my every thought was about my body or around food. I would wake up thinking about, about my body and I would go to sleep thinking about my body. Like it was insane. Like I cannot believe how much of my time and my energy went through that. Me going through an eating disorder definitely affected my life completely. I missed out on big events like prom. Um, like when my parents renewed their vows, I literally was not present during those like four months or six months of like planning and the wedding and everything. Like I just wasn't there. Like I was so mad at the world for 
my eating disorder. You know what I mean? Like, it just felt, everything felt unfair. Like, I was mad at myself. I was mad at everyone else. It was just terrible. Like, I think it was, like, awkward when people would, like, maybe see me, like, six months and be like, oh, my gosh, she looks so good. And then they see me again and it's like, oh, like, I look completely different. And what are you going to say? Like, oh, do you look fat? Like, no, people don't say that. So it was just a very hard time. When I started college, um, it was just, again, the same cycle. It didn't really stop. Up to like COVID time, I got really up like into personal development. So I started reading like personal development books and I just started taking personal development again as a like holistic side. So like what included um, like self-love, health, fitness, um, meeting goals, like everything that entails personal development. And obviously during this time, the gyms were closed and we were cooking all these things and it was great. Like I had so much fun and I learned to literally accept my body and be grateful for my body. Like during that time, I was like, wow, my body has endured years of misabuse. <laughs> Of abuse really it was during this time that I really accepted my body and I like forgave myself for how many years I've mistreated it and how much I missed out on and I was just like okay I missed out on these things but oh well like now it's the time to literally <laughs> like be alive like seriously like enjoy the things like during quarantine I stopped stressing about working out like I would literally go on walks like maybe once a week like it was just like really chill like it was just movement that I liked like maybe I would do a little dance whatever we were eating a lot cooking a lot and it was great like seriously it was great though my body was bigger I felt really pretty like I was like dude you're literally so pretty like regardless of your size you're genuinely really pretty and I that helped me a lot <laughs> I felt great so then um, gym started opening back up and I was going because I was like, yes, like all these benefits of working out, like on your mood, like depression, heart health. Like I was just excited to get moving and literally do it for health. And I would go literally like run maybe like five minutes, like for two weeks and like do a light lift, like just like working up to whatever my goal was, whether it was running more, lifting more, whatever. And um, eating wise, I was just focused on eating foods that really nourished me. And yes, honestly, like whenever I eat crappy food, I'm like, that was great, but I don't feel great. Like for the next two days, you're like drowsy, your stomach hurts, whatever. So I learned to eat these crappy foods or whatever because I wasn't like, because I wanted it, because like I was with my friends, I was going out, whatever. But it was not for comfort. I stopped seeking food for comfort and I found comfort within myself. I found comfort in gratitude, in working out, in being still, literally. Um, so that was a big like change. So then for like my health in general, I wanted to be healthy. Like I wanted to go to the doctor and like my blood test to be like really good and everything. So I started eating um, healthier and I, did use fitness pal, but to make sure that I didn't fall into like this trap of like under eating and overeating. Like I was like, no, like I'm gonna eat the calories that I have to eat to be well. Like yes, to lose weight, whatever, but like I'm gonna be functioning like at a high level, you know? And it's crazy because I never, <laughs> even though this is not gonna make sense, but it's crazy to me that when I worked out a normal amount and when I ate, healthy like 80% of the time how much my body changed like and it happened honestly fast like to me it was fast because like when I would starve myself it was like the same thing like I would look the same but this time that I was eating a lot more and like not working out as much like I looked like I looked good like I'm happy with my body so yeah I think eating disorders are very complex and a very hard cycle to break um and I could go on and on and about that however I would just say that again, like being being open with my vulnerability, vulnerability. Wow. Okay. Whatever. Being vulnerable with you guys has helped me a lot. Like, I think whenever you stop shame, 
you stop feeling shame is whenever you are able to experience freedom. Like, I'm, like, yes, I starve myself, or, like, yes, like, I overeat a lot, or whatever. I'm not ashamed about it, because it happened, yet I was strong enough to grow through that, you know, like, grow through what you go through, and, Um, yeah, I think one of, like, some takeaways is if you're going through an eating disorder, don't feel like, oh, I'm gonna get help whenever I'm sick enough, like, if you're already thinking that, you're sick enough, like, seriously, like, get help, reach out, you're not alone, you're not the only one that's going through it, just know that a lot of people care for you, and even if you don't feel like it, or if you have a broken family, if you don't have friends, whatever, the world cares for you, I care for you, like, I care for all the girls and the boys that are going through eating disorders because it's such a lonely disorder um you're like okay like through the eyes of the world you're okay like you're okay you're functioning but my god is it draining it's terrible and it's something that it's really hard to like go through and even talk about yeah i'm just really grateful for having like a platform on tiktok and being able to like talk about this and like a lot more things you know I think like overall personal development which is what helped me um go through like that recovery but yeah that was that so this is editing me I totally forgot to make an outro I don't know I was just like peace out and I left but anyway I you know I've always shared like little parts of my story and yeah it was really nice to share all of it with you I encourage you to share yours you're inspiring you matter and uh your vulnerability i can't say that word but you (laughs) by you being vulnerable um you're helping a lot of people and you're changing a lot of lives so share your stories if you need help reach out and yeah i care for you one two three let's go